see you there. Um, out here doing a little archery today. Gonna show off my uh, semi-new bow and hopefully have a beautiful uh, early March uh, day. 50 degrees, couldn't, couldn't be more beautiful. Um, the only reason I'm filming it is because my mom doesn't know how to edit a video and she wants to know how. So this is my creative way of mixing something I want to do with something that she needs. So follow me and I'll show you how it goes. Come on, buddy. takes because I don't want this to take forever so bear with me here there's gonna be a lot of ums pauses and derailings of trains of thought so the first thing I want to talk about is your establishing shot so I will insert an establishing shot of the range so you can experimental but don't worry about that uh, the next things you're gonna do we're gonna return from the establishing shot to here uh, the next things you're gonna want to figure out are inserts so if you're talking about something so for instance I came to the range today and I brought my bow because I want to do a little bow practice now I have a diamond edge bow and this is precisely as I open this I would change the shot and show you close-ups of the diamond bow and some cooler things about it now, of course, I'm not moving the camera. I will do all that stuff later, or I've either already done it. Now, the next parts, I'm just gonna show you some different shot examples and how things can work together. I'll you know, use some transitions, probably stop the narration from this point on just because it's gonna take way too long. But hopefully it'll give you a little bit of idea of framing, transitions, and how you take frames to make shots, to make a sequence, to make a movie. Um, let's shoot some arrows. Okay, those first shots were a little too easy. I haven't been shooting that great today, but we're gonna try something a little bit more difficult and it'll let me do a couple more inserts. Now, when I increase the distance from my target, the first shots were probably only about 15, 20 yards. Rarely ever gonna get cl that close to a deer. Um, you might do so with a turkey or something, but more realistic is like the 40 yards, 50 yards range. Um, I also think it's just a lot more cool if you can hit stuff at 50 yards to 100 yards. Um, so this is closer to 40 yards, I would say. Um, the arrows are going to take a lot longer, so I have to compensate for how much they're going to drop. So on the site, I've got a green site, I've got an orange site, and I've got a yellow site. And those are going to basically tell me which distance I can hit. So the green site is going to let me get into the 20-yard range, 
while the orange is what I'm, is what I'm using, now, using now, at the 40, at the 40 and the yellow, and the yellow is probably, is more, like probably more like 60. I, re I rarely use the yellow because I'm not that good. But let's see if we can even hit the target. And I will set up a camera at the other end and redo this so the shots that you're seeing close-ups are actually not these shots. But that's just because I only have one phone right now. Bingo. Okay, we got it. Looks like we hit it way upper right. Uh, I think on the video, since I already did those shots, uh, depends on what you're seeing. I had a pretty close grouping in the middle. 